Good morning and welcome to the MAP Neighborhood Conference. Uh, sorry we can't be here together in person, but I am really glad that you're here. My name is Craig Jimenez and I am the Director of Community Development for the City of Monrovia. Um, I'm, I'm privileged to lead a dedicated and smart and talented group of professionals that's really dedicated to serving you. Um, our, our goal, our mission is to create a community that offers a premier quality of life and, and we work hard to do that. So what does community development do? Well, simply put, we develop community. Um, and by develop, I don't mean just build or construct. But we also help to develop community by maintaining those things that are important to the community um, that keep Monrovia, well, Monrovia. Uh, where our public works team focuses on maintaining sidewalks and streets and in public spaces, community development really is focused on uh, private property from ensuring that new development integrates with our neighborhoods and is constructed properly to reviewing new business licenses, neighborhood preservation, historic preservation, art and public places. And then there's a MAP program. Um, and that's the reason we're all here today. So the department really is made up of three distinct divisions and they really represent the cycle of development. It starts with the planning division and the planning division is focused on uh, developing that long range plan or vision for the community and then ensuring that new development is consistent with that vision. The building division ensures that new construction meets all the building codes through plan check, permitting, and inspection. And then finally our neighborhood and business services division or NBS for short houses our code enforcement operation and they're charged with ensuring that property throughout town are, are maintained turn it over to my staff and let them talk more about what it is we do. Um, but I simply want to say welcome to the Community Development Department. So much of the time that we spend here in the office, what we do is we're responding to different inquiries um, from businesses who want to locate in our city. Uh, staff evaluates each land use and sign off on their business license prior to the business license being issued. Um, over the last year, a lot of people have been making improvements to their homes since we're now spending a lot more time in our home. Here's just one an example of a site plan and home that was sent to the city today for our review. So I'll be taking a cursory look at this and then providing our comments back to the applicant. Um, another thing we've been working on is our, that we do on an ongoing basis is maintaining our historic preservation program. The city has over 163 um, designated landmarks. Um, we process about four per year. Um, oftentimes these landmarks um, need to go through some um, restoration and upkeep. And I think when you speak to some of our planners today, you'll get an in-depth review or some insight to one of the projects that we're currently working on. It's eventually gonna need to go to the Historic Preservation Commission for approval. Another thing that we do is we update the city's municipal codes related to land use and planning. Um, this year we adopted a brand new accessory dwelling unit ordinance. Um, and we also updated the city's reasonable accommodation ordinance. Um, ADUs are the small homes that you probably know are very popular now. Their um, range in size between 220 and 1,000 square feet and they can be located now on single family properties and multifamily properties. Um, with respect to our reasonable accommodation ordinance, this is a really neat ordinance that um, helps anyone with a disability be able to enjoy their home um, without having um, any barriers to enjoying their home. Um, we have fun here, and I think you'll find that when you uh, meet all of the planners who are in the office today. Um, we do have six planners and one part-time planner and I'm very happy that I get to share a little bit about what we do here. Hi there, my name is John Mayer. I'm okay. a senior planner with the City of Monrovia. Okay. And right now I'm looking at the Alexan Foothill Project. This is a 436 unit, uh, five story residential complex at Evergreen and Magnolia. This is just uh, west of the Gold Line Transit Station. And what's exciting about this project is it's going to provide much needed housing near the Gold Line Station so that people don't really have to drive. They can just walk to the train station and go where they need to go. Um, at this point, uh, this project was approved 
by the city council in early uh, 2020. And uh, at this point, up until now, they've been working on their very detailed construction drawings, um, getting everything together so that the building division can check to make sure the building's going to be safe and won't fall down. Um, also, during this time, before they get a building permit, I need to check to make sure that the developer is going to do everything they said that they would do and that this project is going to look like what the city council expected it to look like. So at this time I am going through their drawings of what was approved by the city council and checking against what they submitted electronically up on the computer screen here uh, just to make, it look, make sure it looks the same and uh, that it's going to be exactly what the council expected. Also there um, are a list of requirements. These are conditions of approval that the developer has agreed to do. They told the city council they would do these additional steps before they get a permit. And um, some very important things are that they would seek the security plan, lighting, um, tell us how the design looks, the design details. Um, we're making sure that they're providing all the open spaces and recreation areas for this project. And at this point uh, they're doing a really good job at that. This project is so large, it's on a six acre site. It has its own specific plan. You've heard of the general plan, there's a specific plan just for this property, and it goes into all of the regulations and all the land uses that are allowed. For example, um, it's mostly residential, but there are four spaces on Magnolia that can be a loop workplace where the uh, business owner can live in the unit and also do business. It could be bike repair, it could be a coffee shop, it could be an exercise studio, anything that, um, any type of business that supports the, uh, the neighborhood and the community. So that is where I am at this point. Hi, I'm Austin Earl, System Planner for the City of Monrovia, and I'm currently working on a plan check for a new restaurant coming here to our very own downtown. Uh, and with COVID, um, we've really made a push for taking applications to go digital. Uh, however, occasionally we get the physical plans, as you see here, and so I'm just writing some, hopefully are what will be simple comments to try and get these uh, owners of the business into this tenant space as soon as possible. So I'm just providing a plan check and hopefully I will submit this back to them uh, today. And hopefully they'll come pick it up uh, at City Hall later this afternoon. But just some minor corrections, um, things that they have to do in order to be able to get into this location uh, with our um, HCD, which is our historic downtown zone, uh, which is where a majority of uh, both the shopping and restaurants are here in the city. Um, just making some simple corrections and uh, hopefully they'll resubmit here in the next week or two and uh, hopefully they get a business license and open up real soon. Hi, I'm Vincent Gillespie, one of the planning technicians here in the city of Monrovia. Um, some of the things we do is we look at historic homes. Um, the city has over 150 historic landmarks and Mills Act homes, as well as some uh, commercial buildings. And so um, a big part of Monrovia is our historic preservation. And so that's looking at older homes um, that might have proposed uh, projects or remodels to them. Uh, so this could be as small as the replacement of beams um, to match um, what was previously there, or a whole new structure like a brand new garage uh, to match the style and the design of the main structure, the main house. Hi, my name's uh, Greg. I'm the Building and Safety Division Manager for the City of Monrovia. I'm also known as the Building Official. The purpose of the Building Division is to protect the lives and safety of its residents and those who visit the City of Monrovia and to provide a premier quality of life. The Building Division has the duty and power to enforce all ordinances, state mandates, and local laws that regulate construction on private property within the City. In simplified terms, this is done by providing services such as permit issuance, plans examination, and inspections. These three services constitute the basic foundation on which the division is structured to fulfill its duties. There is much involved with the day-to-day -day activities within the building division, so to see an example of these services, let us visit our permit technician who will walk us through the plan submittal process and permit issuance. Then, let's tag along with our one of our building inspectors to see some of the things that they inspect. 
Hi, my name is Charlotte Cush. Um, I am a, a development services technician in our building department for the city of Monrovia. So if you are wanting to submit plans um, for a project or if you are trying to get a permit, uh, I will be able to assist you. Uh, me, uh, Charlotte, and uh, my beautiful coworker Vanessa. Uh, the way that you submit plans is, let's say you're doing like an addition or um, uh, whatever the scope of work, if it needs to have uh, different divisions to approve it, you, we would assist you uh, one uh, online. So you can email your plans to our building email address, uh, building at ci.monrovia.ca.us. Uh, at that point, we get the plans, um, we'll process them. Typically, you'll pay a plan review fee and we'll assess that and then contact you for that payment. Then we will route your plans to the different division, depending on who needs to approve them. So uh, building, planning, fire, and public works typically. Once we receive the approval, then that's when we will issue you the permit. You'll pay for those fees and then uh, that's when you'll start calling us for inspections. So uh, you can call us or email us for inspections. Uh, we're usually one to two days out for them. And then that's when our beautiful and lovely inspectors will go out and inspect the property and make sure that it's in compliance. Once those inspections are all finished, then you'll get your final job card and you're good to go. Okay, so my name is Shadi uh, Bria. I'm the senior inspector here at the city. Um, so today I'm gonna explain the typical day of our uh, inspector. Uh, so we start here, we come every day at 7. The first thing we do is set up the schedule. And so we have here the inspection calendar. Uh, we input all the inspection requests uh, daily. And we set up the route uh, to be an easy, short route. So we start from the east side to the west. After we set up the schedule, we call people, set every single contract to a homeowner uh, to tell them like, um, the inspection window which is usually an hour so we give it so people doesn't wait for us all day and it depends on the type of inspection we set up the time so some inspection takes 15 minutes some inspection takes an hour some some big project like an Avalon it's like 150 units sometimes we spend like two three hours every day for like a year we take the permit card with us uh, to the field we sign the permit card the field permit card and then we up, we update our copy as well if they didn't get approved, correction or code violation, we add them up, uh, we give them a list of correction. Depends on like how many correction we list them. And um, the reschedule for inspection, we put them in a the schedule, we do the same thing until they correct and we approve the inspection. And after they approved, we come back here to the office and we go to track it and we insert, we go to each permit and we update each inspection and right now we uh because of covid we um, adopted new method of conducting inspection which is virtual inspection which is usually we don't do but because of covid we start doing it not all the inspection can be done virtually so um, except videos photos um and uh, we can tell from only pictures and uh, if um, they uh, comply with the code or not and we respond and we do the same thing. We, uh, we um, update our record with Tracket2 and that's pretty much it uh, for building inspector daily. And this is pretty much every, the, the daily life, like our typical day for inspector in every city. Welcome to the uh, 11th annual uh, MAP conference, which we've gone virtual this year. My name is Justin Edson and I'm the Neighborhood and Business Services Division Manager, uh, which is a division that covers a lot of different categories. Uh, we'll go in depth with staff uh, to expand on what each uh, unit does within our division. But we fall within the Community Development Department and we include Code Enforcement, MAP, which is the Monrovia Area Partnership, Housing, and Business Licensing. Uh, code Enforcement uh, is focused on the property maintenance of the city, it improves property values, it helps with the health and safety of our residents, and uh, they work with businesses and residents alike to make sure that uh, we're in compliance with our municipal code uh, and that we're all living in a very healthy and 
prosperous city. Uh, business licensing focuses on uh, renewing business licenses, working with uh, contractors and brick and mortar businesses in our city, and making sure that all of the businesses comply with the health and safety uh, codes um, and working with planning uh, to make sure that they're zoned to be there. And then our housing, uh, our housing is actually through the Baldwin Park Housing Authority, but we do offer certain resources and COVID relief uh, through our division. And the Monrovia Area Partnership, uh, as you all know, has been around since 2006 and has a great team that is focused on providing resources to the community, the Leadership Academy, uh, this conference, and the MAP EDUs, as well as the newsletter. And it's all about giving information to the community and the residents so that they could help uh, each other. And our MAP leaders uh, are a great group of people that go through the Leadership Academy and for the youth or the adult, and they become leaders in our community. Uh, and they, they help their neighbors and they help the community as a whole. Um, and so we are very fortunate to have such a uh, outspoken, great group of residents that are here to help our city. Um, and that's neighborhood business services in, in a nutshell. Uh, we work so closely with the building and with planning uh, to, to get projects approved and to make sure that uh, they comply with the proper codes. Uh, we deal with unpermitted construction. And as you, you see in the process with the planning division, the building division, we're all in a big process in the community development department. And code enforcement and neighborhood services, we're at the tail end of that. Um, after they've been approved for the project and they have a business, they have a home here in the city of Monrovia, uh, code enforcement makes sure that that's kept up and maintained as the years go on. And then uh, the Monrovia Area Partnership engages the residents and the community uh, so that there's that, uh, that focus on teamwork and working together as a city. And business licensing helps keep those businesses moving forward and licensed so that they can be prosperous in this beautiful city. So as a, as a whole, we're a big team, a big family, and we're here to serve you as a community. Uh, and I appreciate this time and we'll go into uh, meeting some of the team in code enforcement, business licensing, and the Monrovia Area Partnership. Thank you. How you doing? My name is Ken Tree. I'm one of the code enforcement officers with the city of Monrovia. Just a little bit about Monrovia. It's approximately 13.73 square miles. It has a population of over 37,000. We have approximately um, 13,700 homes and uh, 14,500 uh, units, which could be rentals, apartments, anything like that. What does code enforcement do? Well, one of the main things we do is we educate. We educate the public on um, why our services are needed and for the health and safety welfare of our community. As code enforcement, we try to be uh, friendly, fair, firm, uh, forward, and we finish and we have fun. Uh, what does code enforcement do? We get involved in almost every aspect, whether it's planning, zoning, uh, signage, landscaping, uh, building, yard sale, any type of property maintenance violations, anything that has to do with health, safety, and welfare of the community. We cover a broad scope of uh, duties and we're here to help. And as I said, one of our main uh, emphasis is to educate the, the public. Thank you. Hi, we're going down an alleyway that we've received complaints on. Uh, this vehicle is sticking yeah, out we'll be at it. into the alley. It's an inoperable vehicle. It's uh, expired from 2014. Uh, I will be sending the owner, uh, the property owner on it, um, which is an apartment complex, that that can't be out here. It needs to be removed. And as we come down this alley, as you can see, um, there are some trash and debris and some people are not maintaining their property. That's part of code enforcement uh, that needs to be dealt with. And down here further, I have another property that you can see. We have weeds growing out. These are property owners' responsibility to fix and clean up. As you can see right up here on the left-hand side, 
you have a barn that is in a dilapidated condition and it's falling uh, this is working with building department and the homeowner to get this removed as you can see it's a fire hazard and a safety hazard there's also other structures on this uh, property uh, this is like an old shed that is falling apart the roof has caved in and the dilapidated building that we just went by the barn um, the roof has caved in also and they also have other structures on here that may not be allowed to have be there hi i'm officer cassandra panita i am a code enforcement officer here at the city of monrovia i am the officer on the east side of town so right now during covid um we are always wearing masks and taking all necessary uh precautions um when going out in the field and making contact if we need to make contact with uh residents covid right now we have been extremely busy uh with complaints have, have definitely increased, um, as well as with other uh, items that we see out in the field as we're doing sweeps throughout the city each and every day, uh, with people staying home more often. Uh, a lot of people are cleaning out their garages, doing early spring cleaning or year-round cleaning. So why don't we go ahead and uh, go out in the field and show you what code enforcement's been working on. Good morning. So this property here came across my desk um, from the building department. Uh, building department was doing a sweep throughout the city and they saw that construction was going on here and so they called out code enforcement. So um, I started this case, um, found out that they did not have any permits. They were doing unpermitted construction. It was a full-blown interior remodel. Um, they were doing uh, plumbing, electrical, um, everything possible. And so we did a stop work order. Um, so they had to stop everything that they were doing. They had to go to the building department, draw up plans, uh, submit it to planning. So they did all the necessary paperwork, everything that they had to follow. Um, they were approved and they got all their permits. And so now we have this beautiful house and it's looking amazing. Hello. My Commercial code enforcement can entail anything from landscaping to trash service to zoning and business licensing to uh, health and safety building code violations. So with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, commercial code enforcement has taken on the uh, temporary outdoor business operations uh, permitting process. So these are for all the businesses that were required to stop all indoor business, whether it be restaurants, personal services, gyms, things like that. So a lot of these businesses were able to continue their operations outside. So that's where we came in and provided a streamlined process for these businesses to make sure they can lawfully and permitted uh, to operate outside. Uh, so we are still continuing that process and it's continuing through the end of the emergency order. Those are a lot of the things that code enforcement or commercial code enforcement uh, handles. In commercial code enforcement, there is a very specialized emphasis on the historic Old Town District. There are additional regulations and processes when it comes to things like outdoor dining, late night operations, sidewalk signs, and outdoor displays. This is the only part of Monrovia that allows outdoor dining and sidewalk signs on public property. It is a job of code enforcement to verify all businesses are approved and compliant with all the regulations concerning this district's additional operations. This is also the only part of Monrovia that allows for expanded outdoor dining in city parking lots and city streets under the temporary outdoor business operations permit during the COVID-19 pandemic. This additional space allows this has allowed our space has allowed our businesses to continue operating during the COVID-19 pandemic. Monrovia is a premier place to conduct a business and it is our goal to make obtaining a business license a streamlined process. Planning oversees zoning regulations for businesses. Once the planning division has reviewed a new business use and location to verify zoning compatibility, the business will work with neighborhood and business services to become licensed. 
However, we don't just issue licenses to in-town businesses alone, but to out-of-town businesses as well that are conducting business in our city on a time-to-time -time basis. Business license taxes and fees help pay for city services that benefit the community, businesses, and the general public. Additionally, businesses that are physically located within the boundaries of our Old Town Business Improvement District pay an annual assessment fee that funds marketing, promotions, and improvements of our Old Town. Some of the specialty licenses that are offered in Monrovia are home occupations, which are home-based businesses, cottage food, which are home-based businesses that prepare and sell food, sidewalk vending, mobile vending, also known as food trucks, as well as cannabis testing. We currently have about 2,700 licenses issued for in-town businesses alone here in Monrovia. Hi everyone, I'm Alex Sokopian and I'm the Neighborhood Services Program Coordinator. Today I'm going to be talking to you about MAP, aka the Monrovia Area Partnership. No, not the map right behind me. Just to tell you a little bit about us, we started in 2006 and the reason why we started was because of an increase in criminal blighted conditions that were seen throughout the community. But today, we still continue our mission with community engagement, empowerment, and education. And in order to support that mission, we provide many programs. So many programs that we like to call it the MAP umbrella. Within that MAP umbrella, we have block parties, we have neighborhood treasures program, we have CDBG residential rehabilitation program, we have the care for your neighbor program. Just listing them all out, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, we really do have a lot of programs that you yourself can get involved in so that way you can be an active resident in your community and make your mark. So if you're that type of neighbor who wants to know everything going on in the community and try to make a difference in your community, then you'll definitely want to be a part of the Monrovia Area Partnership team and join myself. Uh, Justin Edson, who you just saw, our Neighborhood and Business Services Division Manager, and also the lovely lady who's behind this uh, video right now, um, Lauren Davismeyer, our Neighborhood and Business Services Administrative Assistant. If you want to join us, then go ahead and get into contact with either of us because we are happy to welcome anyone into our MAP family. Thank you. So that's a snapshot of a day in the life of community development. I hope you learned a little bit more about what your city government does and specifically what community development does. Our staff, we are proud of the work we do and we take it very seriously. We, we want to make a difference in the community. If you want to learn more about the community development department or the city in, in general, uh, check out our website, cityofmonrovia.org slash cd for community development. Uh, and I hope you have learned a lot today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming to the conference. Once things get back to normal, uh, we hope you stop by City Hall and, and see us. We are a friendly bunch and we, we always like to get to know our residents a little bit better. So be safe, take care, and I hope to see you soon.